the most effective and historically bipartisan ways to reduce poverty and help hardworking families pull themselves up is the Earned Income Tax Credit. Uh, right now, it helps about half of all parents in America at some point in their lives. This budget gives millions more workers the opportunity to take advantage of the tax credit. And it pays, uh, it pays for it by closing loopholes like the ones that let wealthy individuals classify themselves as a small business to avoid paying their fair share of taxes. Uh, this budget will also continue to put our fiscal house in order uh, over the long term, not by putting the burden on folks who can least afford it, but by reforming our tax code and our immigration system and building on the progress that we've made to reduce health care costs under the Affordable Care Act. And it puts our debt on a downward path uh, as a share of our total economy, which independent experts have set as a critical target for fiscal responsibility. As I said at the outset, uh, our budget is about choices. Uh, it's about our values. As a country, we've got to make a decision if we're going to protect tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans or if we're going to make smart investments necessary to create jobs and grow our economy and expand opportunity for every American. At a time when our deficits are falling at the fastest rate in 60 years, we've got to decide if we're going to keep squeezing the middle class or if we're going to continue to reduce the deficits responsibly while taking steps to grow and strengthen the middle class.